Good evening, welcome to CTV News, streaming live at ctv.co.nz. It's cold and it's getting colder. Snow could fall to low levels, but forecasters say it's still too early to tell if Christchurch will get that dumping of snow. Heavy snow, though, is causing power outages across the country, and Jared McCulloch has been following weather developments today and filed this report. It may be good for the ski fields, with winter well and truly here. A dramatic drop in temperature today has seen parts of Canterbury experience heavy rain, gale force winds and snow to low levels. However, it's not over yet, with the worst of what's to come happening later on this evening. Earlier today, we spoke to weather analyst Russell Voice about what's expected this evening. Well, conditions are slowly getting colder across the region. We've got rain that's really starting to set in now, um, and temperatures are starting to plummet. Snow levels will gradually drop through the afternoon, and there's a potential for snow to sea level, so pretty, pretty cold stuff. And since then, many places in the Canterbury region have felt the temperature drop. Timaru earlier today was sitting on 11 degrees. An hour later, it plummeted to 3. The snow began making an appearance in Ashburton and around 2pm today, with more snowy conditions expected for lower lying parts, including Christchurch. This front especially has kind of come out of nowhere, I mean just two or three days ago it wasn't on our radar um, and it really just, a, a lot of time and effort's gone into it, you know, in the last 24 hours because it's constantly been changing. This weather map shows that front moving over the South Island, First bringing snow to much of the Alpine region, with the storm set to kick in until midnight tonight. The New Zealand Transport Agency has issued warnings to motorists travelling in the higher Alpine areas, with the low pressure system affecting the Alpine passes. They urge drivers to allow more time for their journey and to be extremely cautious. Bart Russell says the snow in many areas won't last long. It will be short-lived, short but high intensity, so um, by kind of 10, 11 p.m. tonight, conditions will actually slowly warm up. What's interesting, after a cold front, you expect frosts and calm conditions, uh, and a northerly flow will kind of replace what, you know, what's happening um, at the moment with southerlies and southeasterlies. So um, we will see different weather um, move in overnight, and, and conditions will slowly improve tomorrow morning. And he also has a message for those living in the higher areas of the region. I think people about the high country should be concerned. Um, above kind of four or five hundred metres, you know, 40 to 50 centimetres might fall at those elevations and that could cause, you know, obviously problems. Um, we think that Alpine passes will be closed by mid to late afternoon, so if you're travelling um, in those areas overnight, take, take precautions and expect road closures, so it's probably best to stay at home tonight. Photos have appeared on social media about the wintry blast. These images were taken from a resident in Twizel. But the cold didn't bother this dog playing out in the snow. The worst of the storm is expected to ease at around midnight. Jared McCulloch, CTV News. And that dog, by the way, his name was called Lily from Mount Summers. Jared, there you go. There you go. And of course, our reporter Jared McCulloch has been following developments across Mid Canterbury and joins us in the studio. Uh, pretty significant dumping of snow. Where are the worst affected regions? Do you think, or where's the worst affected towns? Yeah. Where is the snow falling at the moment? Absolutely. Well, most of it is in South Canterbury and in Mid Canterbury as well. Some of the worst affected places are Twizel. Some of them are pretty much uh, locked in at their homes. The snow yeah. is so thick there. Um, they've also had power outages as well. Many parts of Canterbury as well, some in South Canterbury as well, so it's pretty full on. Now, I know you've been on the phone to uh, various weather forecasters uh, late this afternoon. Uh, it's touch and go as to how much snow we could expect in Christchurch. Mm. What are they giving you in terms of the forecast for late tonight and tomorrow morning? Absolutely. Well, later on, from now on to about midnight is the big chunk of what we'll see for the weather getting worse. Uh, most of that will be um, uh, to about 100, 100 metres um, above sea level. Uh, Christchurch sits on sea level, so it's getting close. Uh, but not, yeah, as I said, as you said before, a bit of touch and go for where we're coming to Christchurch as well. They're not sure what, uh, what's going to happen in the next, in the next few hours, but yeah, we could get some, we might not. But when it comes to tomorrow though, it's all going to change completely really. It's going to start clearing up in the morning and then just go back to um, changing from southerlies to uh, northwesterlies for most parts. So what about inland Canterbury? Further inland Canterbury will still, still have that snow, but that's also going to change a wee bit for most for most places. There'll be other places like Darfield, uh, further in the Alpine region as well, they'll see that snow. And I just want to turn now to the pictures you're seeing on screen now as well. These were taken uh, near the Rakai Gorge, near the base of Mount Hunt, uh, early uh, this afternoon. That's pretty heavy looking snow, That's Jared. heavy snow there, yes. So uh, my, uh, one of our camera people were out there filming today and um, for wow. stuff with rain. And this is the pictures they came shortly after, uh, I think it was after uh, about lunchtime. Uh, yeah, now later snow just comes. 
flying in there and, and, and inland. Well, the reports we're getting at the moment is that snow has now stopped and it is settling, so we'll try and see if we can get more of an update later in the bulletin. Jared McCulloch, thank you for your time tonight. Right.